Good afternoon, folks. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a wonderful day. So, hey, I have been doing battle with various YouTube entertainers talking about the housing market. And all of them seem to be pointing at the Case Schiller Index and saying, hey, look, the price here in 2020 is about the price of 2006 or 2007, and we're going to crash just because the prices are the same. And I have seemingly talked my head off about why that is just crazy. So what I thought I would do is I thought I would show you and them why prices could go up 60% over 2006 or seven and not be crazy. Yes, I am saying that if prices went up 60% from the 2006 peak, it would only be as crazy as that time. So anything less than a 60% increase from let's say 2007 is not as crazy. And I have the math to prove it. You wanna check it out? I thought you would. Let's bring it up. It's very simple, but let me share it with you. Hopefully you can see this. So here's the deal. And I position this good. So here's the deal, right? So let's assume we're here at the base value. Let's assume you had a mortgage for $250,000. Maybe you were, I don't know where you are. I don't know where you are in the country, wherever you are. If you're in Ohio, maybe you're buying a big house and you're in California, you're buying a shack. Wherever it is in 2006 or 2007 or 2008, you pick whatever year you want, you get a mortgage for 250 grand. The house could cost 300, you put 50 down. The house could cost 270, you put 20K down. The fact is you have a 30 year fixed rate mortgage at six and a half percent. And because you have a 30 year fixed rate mortgage on $250,000, your mortgage payment is $1,580. Now remember, this is the peak, but let's now look at what happens. What happens if that interest rate goes down to 5%? If the interest rate is 5%, you can now get a loan 30 year fixed for $294,000 and your mortgage payment is $1,578. Prices could go up 17.6% and the payment stays the same. But wait, there's more. What if the 30 year interest rate is 4%? Well, in that case, you could borrow $331,000, have a payment that is exactly the same as your base year of $1,580. Look at that. Your interest rate goes from six and a half to 4% you can buy or borrow, you can borrow 32% more, same payment. Folks, it is not about the Case Schiller Index. It's about the mortgage payment, but let's do a couple of more. What happens if the 30 year fixed rate mortgage is 3%? Well, in that case, you could borrow $375,000 and have a payment that is $1 more expensive than before. It is $1,581. That interest rate going from 6.5% to 3% means you can borrow 50% more and only pay $1 a month more. It's amazing. But wait, what happens if interest rates on the 30-year fix go to 2.5%? 2.5%. Well, in that case, you could borrow $400,000.
and have the exact same payment as you did at the peak in 06 or 07 or 08 of $1,580. Folks, interest rates and payments are what matter. It's not the Case-Shiller Index. Stop pointing at the Case-Shiller Index. It is irrelevant in an interest rate falling environment. You can borrow 60% more in 2020 than you could in 2006. You can afford 60% more house and have the same payment. Folks, prices could go up 60% from the peak of 06 before it's unaffordable. Think about that. Six, zero. Yes, property values could go up 60%. It would be the same payment as 2006. So anything less than 60%, we are not back to the 06, 07 peak. Not. And if interest rates go lower, it gets even more crazy. So in the end, lower interest rates are pushing housing prices higher. There is no question. But realize, if you owned real estate as interest rates were falling, you have been helped. But again, if I hear one more YouTube person talk about the Case-Shiller Index and say, hey, look, 07 peak, 2020 peak, they're the same, they're gonna crash. Not the case. And just because I did the math, let's just say you borrowed 250K in 2006. Again, the payment's 1580. If you refied at 5%, again, 30 year fix, all that, your payment's 1342. Again, if you borrowed 250K at 4%, it's 1194. If you borrowed 250K at 3%, it's 1,054. And finally, if you borrowed just 250 grand at 2.5%, your payment is now $988. Your payment goes down 37.5%. So if you did just a rate and term refi on 250 grand, your payment goes down 37%. It's not about price. It is not about the Case-Shiller Index. It's about payment. And as this spreadsheet shows, if interest rates go from six and a half, which they were back in 06 and 07, to two and a half, which they are today, you can borrow 60% more and have the same exact payment. So hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully this puts the rest, the whole, oh my God, world's going to fall apart. Case Shiller Index tells me, blah, 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 blah. It's not. I believe real estate values are going to go up and they're going to go up substantially. Look at that spreadsheet again. Go back and look at it. Housing prices could easily go up 30% and not be any less affordable. Interest rates are under 3%. If prices go up 30% from the 06 peak, we're nowhere near crazy prices. If real estate goes up 60% from 06, I'll be concerned because that's just nutty. But 30% wouldn't concern me. So this whole look at Case Shiller, it's the same thing. Not a good answer. Hopefully that makes sense. Let me know. Take care. Have a wonderful day.